After the toxic train derailment in East Palestine, many in Congress continue to push for passing the Railway Safety Act. It would tighten the rules in the railroad industry. Until that reform comes, though, railroad workers say trouble on the tracks will continue, which they blame on the railroad company's pressure to keep these trains moving. Local 12's Dwayne Pullman investigates one key safety issue that railroad inspectors have long complained about, the one-minute inspection. When it comes to trains, time is money. It's about billions. Railroad unions say precision scheduled railroading, or PSR, is now driving efficiency and profits at America's major railroad companies. Getting freight moving at all costs. David Aroka is the national legislative director for the union representing Carmen, who perform inspections on the nation's rail cars. After the devastating derailment in East Palestine, the National Transportation Safety Board, or NTSB, determined a superheated wheel bearing on one of the rail cars was the probable cause. This was 100% preventable. Were you surprised then to see what happened in East Palestine? Oh, absolutely not. Aroka says PSR has led to big cuts in the number of inspectors and mechanics. And the railroad company's own documents reveal PSR has led to big cuts to inspection times, too. From three minutes per rail car less than a decade ago to just one minute per rail car today. Is it enough to do a one minute inspection? No. It is physically impossible to do these inspections in that short of a time frame. This is a minute. To demonstrate the difference, Aroka showed us some videos. Hi. I'm Patrick Clear. Patrick is a union inspector and instructor at a training center in Missouri. In 60 seconds, he can only eye potential problems in a quick walk around. He did find a few. Oh, we got a missing shoe here. Next, Patrick does a full inspection of the same rail car. Oh, we do have a crack right here. It looks and sounds very different. This time, Patrick turns to tools. Ooh, almost a high flange. And a tape measure. Right at 33 inches. Checking 180 items, including a thorough examination of the bearings. No damage. Brakes. And wheel assemblies. We've got a broken bottom rod support. Patrick identifies five serious safety issues. That's correct. That would have pulled this car from service. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the bad order card. But taking rail cars out of service prevents them from rolling down the rails. And Aruka says that's not a priority for precision scheduled railroading. And the end result is what? You have a lot of stuff going down the track without any idea whether it's defective or not. The Association of American Railroads, or AAR, which represents the railroad companies, doesn't dispute the push for one-minute inspections. But in a lengthy statement tells us there are certain equipment defects that are impossible to detect visually when a train is not in motion, which is why the railroads are now using a layered approach, combining both visual and widely deployed technology. Among those new widely deployed high-tech tools, detectors to check wheels and bearings as the trains roll by. In its statement, AAR goes on to say the data is clear that these efforts have paid off, with the lowest number of mainline mechanical equipment failure accidents last year. According to NTSB's preliminary report on East Palestine, a hot bearing detector transmitted a critical audible alarm message instructing the crew to slow and stop the train, but it was sent too late to prevent the derailment. Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown insists more inspectors and better inspections will make a difference. They're, they're shortening inspections. They're not having the most qualified people do them. Of course, safety's compromised, and communities like East Palestine get hurt. Senator Brown, a Democrat, is teaming up with Republican Ohio Senator J.D. Vance to co-sponsor the Railway Safety Act of 2023, which, for the first time, calls on the Transportation Secretary to create minimum time requirements that a qualified mechanical inspector must spend when inspecting a rail car or locomotive. We ought to at least force them to, to have some common sense safety standards. 
Until that bill passes, Aroka remains concerned, saying, like all things in railroading, the next catastrophe is just a matter of time. You can't put a time constraint on safety. Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News. You can find our full story and read the complete statement from the Association of American Railroads, as well as other key documents and the bill in Congress. It's on our website, local12.com, or you can view it on the go with our Local 12 News app.